सो वेलकम यू ऑल वी डिस्कस अबाउट द लाइन एंड एंगल पार्ट वन लाइन एंड एंगल पार्ट टू लाइन एंड एंगल पार्ट थ्री एंड लाइन एंड एंगल पार्ट फोर इन ऑल दिस चैप्टर्स वी डिस्कस अबाउट द फंडामेंटल कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ लाइन एंड एंगल प्लस वी ऑल्सो डिस्कस अबाउट द डिफरेंट क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू दैट फंडामेंटल कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ लाइन एंड एंगल नाउ इट इज अ टाइम टू नो हाउ मच वी आर रिमेंबरिंग the different fundamentals of the line and angle so what i worked out i worked out the mcq that is multiple choice questions and fill in the blank type of questions which are asking a very small small fundamental related to line and angle and if you answer all these questions it means you are aware about the line and angle completely so this is considered to be the food for thoughts just to make yourself or to test yourself that you are aware of the facts and in a very brief and shorter time period you are going to recollect what we have already learned so with this idea in mind we are going to start the mcq based questions so line and angle mcq questions we are going to start the mcq questions now so let us say this is the line and angle chapter but our focus is on multiple choice question and it is the essence of all four chapters that we have already learned so you can say it is a small summary or small capsule of chapter 1 2 3 and 4 so number 1 normally we represent normally we represent a point with a dash letters so normally we represent a point with a capital letter so the correct answer is not a small letter but we are going to represent a point you know what is the meaning of point the point is like this so we are going to represent this point with a capital letter and what does it point represent the point represent position position of something point does not have length and width it does not have length it does not have width so this is called point this is called point a geometric line as a set of points because when you are connecting all the lines then we are connecting all the points then what we are going to form we are going to form a line then goes endlessly in one directions normally we represent line with a small letter so let's say this is line ab or you can say this is line xy you cannot say this is line ab this is not correct but as per the geometric jargon you have to represent the line with a small letter and the line is only length it doesn't have a breadth line does not have line does not have width if the line has two points then the part is known as for example let's say this is the line let's say this is the line this is line x and y and if i am taking any two points between the line then this portion is known as line segment plane has this and that it has a length and width because the plane means this kind of figure but does not have thickness for example a sheet of paper it is a plane but does not have a thickness the line which intersect at a particular point for example when this line and then this line so both the lines are cut touching one particular point so it is called concurrent lines the point which one on one line are called one on one line means straight line or you can say collinear point in the same direction parallel lines are coplanar lines means parallel lines never intersect for example let's say line a and line b or line a and line b 
if you extend it it goes on and on but it never meet each other so it never intersect with each other and the distance between them is always constant let's say the distance is 4 cm then if you go further it remains 4 cm if you go backward also it is 4 cm so the con distance is remain constant when two angles are equal then it is called for example let's say this angle and this angle it is 90 degree and this is also 90 degree so you can say both of this angle are congruent angle congruent angle means their side angle and everything area perimeter everything remember the moment you listen the word congruent means everything is same area is same perimeter is same side is same everything is same when the measurement of the angle is less than 90 degree as you know we have already discussed less than 90 degree means acute angle when the angle is exactly 90 degree then it is a right angle when angle is more than 90 degree or less than 180 degree it is an obtuse angle when angle is 180 degree then it is known as straight angle then this is known as straight angle so if i want to draw an angle which is straight let's say this is line ab and this is the angle which is straight and the measurement of this straight angle is always 180 degree if an angle is more than 180 degree but less than 360 degree then it is known as reflex angle reflex angle is always 180 degree more but less than 360 degree next question geometry derives from which two words and you know in the beginning i started geometry means it is coming from two words geo and metron so geo and metron c is the correct answer in geometry we focus on three main concept which are those concept so in geometry we are going to focus on sorry the d part is removed but the three point is point line and angle so d is the correct answer point is normally represented by point is normally represented by capital letters again we have discussed point represent point represent position point does not have point does not have length width and thickness it is undefined a set of point is known as a set of point set of point is known when you connect then it is becoming a line normally line is represented by line is represented by small letters line does not have line does not have width when the line has two points then that part is known as it is known as line segment so if there is two points here and here and i am talking about only this much only this much then it is a part or you can say the line segment line segment has it is a starting point and ending point plane as now plane as length and width from one point we can make from one point let's say this is one point we can make many lines we can make infinite lines the line intersect at a particular point is known as the line intersect at a particular point so that is called intersecting point when two points are given we can draw how many lines which passes through those two points so let's say these are the two points one line so only one line or if you say the two points are here then this one if it is like this then one line the point which are on the line are called the point which are on the line are called concurrent point the distance between two lines are constant then that line is a parallel line as you know this is a parallel line this is also a parallel line and the distance between these two is always constant 
the symbol of parallel lines this is the symbol of parallel line the angle between two parallel line the angle between two parallel line is always a 90 degree this is a part of line which contain two points line segment ray is represented by this way again this is formed by two rays from one initial point so let's say this is ray 1 and this is ray 2 and what does it form it forms an angle when two angle are say are same in shape and same in size then this is called congruent angle in congruent angle the shape is same and the size is also same d is known as let's say this is the point d now point d is creating an inner angle AD is known as now this AD if it bisect this two angle equally then we can say it is a bisector angle when the measurement of an angle is less than 90 degree then it is known as acute angle when the measurement of an angle is more than 90 degree then it is known as obtuse angle if the angle is more than 180 degree but less than 360 degree then it is known as reflex angle when the measurement of an angle is less than 90 degree then it is known as acute angle when the measurement of an angle is more than 90 degree then it is known as obtuse angle if the angle is more than 180 degree but 300 is it is reflex angle i think we repeated this question more time now if you see these two angles are of different so this is angle x and this is angle y and angle x is not equal to angle y so it is not a bisector it is not a midpoint it is just an adjacent angle same thing now what about this now 50 plus 40 so the total is 90 degree are you clear so when it is a 90 degree then what you can say this is known as adjacent angle now the thing is that both the now angles are not equal 40 degree is not equal to 50 degree and they are side by side so it is an adjacent angle when the sum of the two angle becomes 180 degree then it is known as supplementary angle if two lines cut each other so that 90 degree angle comes out of it then these two lines is called then these two lines is called parallel line if we have two or more that two lines and they are parallel to each other and one cuts it the line which cut the other two line are known as the line which cut the other two line are known as it is a perpendicular line now identify interior angle now these three four six and five are interior angle exterior angle now please remember exterior angle if i want to draw the exterior angle then 2 1 7 and 8 are exterior angle vertically opposite angle so 1 and 3 and 2 and 4 5 and 7 and 6 and 8 are vertically opposite angle then next is corresponding angle this is a 1 and 5 is a corresponding angle and 2 and 6 is also a corresponding angle next uh, we can see if this is a diagram and AC AC divided by CE is BD divided by DE or we can say AC is divided by AE and BD is divided by B. So, when this kind of diagram comes, then it is known as proportionality theorem. Now, look at this angle C dash. What is the measurement of angle C dash? Angle C dash is always equal to angle A plus angle B, is always equal to this angle plus this angle is equal to the extended angle of C which is known as C dash. 
so here we are ending the line and angle mcq based questions which is the essence of all four chapters which we have already discussed so kindly go through these particular questions to make your concept very clear and it will help you to remember the small little fundamental rules of line and angle while you are solving the bigger and complex questions in geometry thank you very much